Do you don't brag, so you don't give you compliments that way, eh? Just pull out some pictures and take a look at them for me. <laughs> Just pull out some of the pictures and have a look at them. They got all kinds of junk here, I would say. Well, at least they got some junk, anyway. Hey, Who's that? Oh. There's quite a few, but I'll... I'll I have one here I think I'd like to explain to you. Packaged. Oh, Christ, there's one done. So you can see. That's right. Holy cow. No, that's not the one I want. I guess I've lost it somewhere. I had another picture of this group. That's the, that's the whole rink rats. Uh -huh. And this is their wives. Mm -hmm. And this, was, this picture was taken 50 years to the day after the reader was burnt out, after the cougars had folded up. And believe it or not, all that group, that's the team, mm -hmm. all that team was still living and 50 years later. What, what year was this? Well, that would be about 1925, 26. That was the team that won the Stanley Cup. That's the year they won the Stanley Cup. As steady as you can, Jenny, but we can freeze it. But all, but all those were the... Yeah, it's told in New York Rangers, uh, not, not Detroit. Okay, we may not have such a story here, then. Huh? So they, they did not become Detroit, they became New York no, Rangers. New York Rangers. Okay. I know that to be a fact. Yeah. Really? So back then, in 1925, you were how old when you were a rink rat? Well, I guess I was, a, well, whatever it is, what, 16, yeah. I guess, yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you live in Victoria all your life? Well, four months old. Oh, yeah. So I've lived here ever since then. But I bragged that I was Victorian, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm to brag. I think you do, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that, that length of time. Yeah. Too bad my wife's not here. Did you ever days. play hockey? Well, I played just for the rink rats. Mm -hmm and everything when I got there. Yeah. So, wasn't much chance, I don't think. <laughs> what was hockey What was hockey like back then compared to now? Is it the same game? Well, I would say in those days it was rougher. Mm -hmm. I think the boys were a little heavier on the body checks than they are now. Because I find now they're, they're fast skating, mm -hmm. but I don't think they're doing as heavy hitting like they did in those days. Although they're fighting just as much as ever, though. And no equipment back then, no helmets. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's true. Uh, uh, just you see, like, uh, as the rink rats wear, no helmets. So you're telling me the, uh, they became the, uh, the you, see, you say they became not, not, the Cougars were sold in 1926 and became the? New York Rangers. Yeah. You're sure of that now, wasn't I'm, it? I'm positive of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, and we haven't seen a winning team like that since, have we? No, not since. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you think is the arena deal? Do you think it's a good deal, this multiplex? It's coming up now? Well, with my back thoughts, I would have to say, yes, I'm glad to see it. Because mm -hmm. I think I had so much enjoyment in the arena. I feel that other younger fellows can get as much enjoyment if they went today. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, I, I honestly think it would be to the betterment of the country, of the pe young people. Mm -hmm. Because rather than, see, now for instance, I feel, you know, they haven't got the corner lots to play in like we had. Because mm -hmm. they're all the corner lots are all built up. So there's no place actually for kids to play as such as we played. Mm -hmm. So I feel that when they got an arena, they got some place to go where they could be in a gang of guys or fellows, whatever, and, uh, have a place to entertain themselves for the day, which I think is darn good. Do you watch the Canucks on TV? Are you interested? Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. I, do, I watch them all the time. I watch any hockey game on TV, to be truthful. Who's the best team in the league? Well, I'd like to say the, the Cougars but, uh, or the Vancouver Canucks, but uh, 
I have a doubt. I have my little doubts, even though they come close to winning last night. But they, they just had that little bit lacking, I think, in the end. Yeah. But they won the first two games, and that was away from home. So you got to give them credit there. I feel they might take it yet, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they could. They could come back tonight. If they come back tonight, I say they won the Stanley Cup. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's, That's my yeah. no, it was uh, the sold the New York Rangers. Yeah. But that, that's hard to believe that 50 years to the day, or back speaking to the day, the same team, the same fellows were still the show team. Not that one, yeah, that's the, yeah. That's the team that won the Stanley Cup. Uh, World Champions, 1924-1925. I thought it was 24-25. I said 26, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All I have to do is look at that and see yeah. I'm wrong. You understand? Well, I think I can read. Well, we spend a lot of time around the arena. Do you, do you remember that Stanley Cup game the Cougars won? Well, of course. Yeah. I was I was certainly there, and I scraped ice. I was a night scraper. Uh, they called us rink rats, and we scraped the ice. Now they became the the uh, Detroit Red Wings, so maybe we should be cheering for Detroit. I don't think so. No, a little old Victoria needs a little cheering, I think. So. Um, so you're going for the Canucks? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What else is there? <laughs> How was hockey back in those days? Was it fun? It was. It was what? Was hockey fun back then? Oh, it was a lot of a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, there wasn't so much refereeing, although when the referee called the um, an unfair uh, strike, uh, we be we uh, we hated that particular. It was Ian. Uh, what was his name now? Um, That's okay. Something uh, something or other anyway. Yeah. And we we liked some and we hated others. <laughs> Same with referees today? Yeah, the same thing. Yeah. Same thing. But at that time, they got away with a little more um, high sticking and that sort of thing. Mm. But they were very, very good players, mind you. Yeah. Well, we, need another, uh, we need, need, need another hockey team here, don't we? We definitely do. Yeah. Well, we have a lot of hockey teams here, really. Yeah. And a lot of my, um, um, you might say, uh, grandsons and... Uh, 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 in one family or another, they're they're playing junior hockey now, okay. and they may be real yeah. professionals at one time, yeah. sometime. Yeah. So, are you rooting for Vancouver in this series? Oh my God! Yes, it was disappointing last night. Yeah. You know, we thought they. Although I think the other team deserves one win. Mm -hmm. That's the way I thought of it, and I wasn't too unhappy about them winning because. They have families and they have uh, many, many um, um, followers and so forth, fans, and they deserve to win w the one game. So we'll give them the one. We'll give them the one. Yeah. But I think from, from now on, we don't want to see any of that game. Two shots, please. Well, burned down over there in yes. Bay. Yeah. And this was, um, it was uh, full size, but it was like a large, Compared to what they have now, mm -hmm. it was like a large barn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it was, that was a very popular spot, that, that area. And it became a, um, it was part of a, an airport and everything else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See so how? But, yeah. but I didn't. I was a little, a little young. Oh, okay. I was only 13. You know, I was in, just in high school then. Yeah. And um, I, uh, we received a season ticket. And oh. so we could attend anything we wanted in that arena. Yeah. And I, being a, an enthusiastic skater, yeah. I Maybe we should be cheering for this guy. Then again, maybe not. But it is true the one-time Stanley Cup champions were the Victoria Cougars, who became the Detroit Cougars and then the Red Wings. It was back in 1925 at the Willows Rink in Oak Bay. Victoria beat Montreal for the Stanley Cup. The banner still hangs in Victoria's Memorial Arena.
John Bate managed this arena for three decades. Should we be cheering for the Detroit ex-Victoria Cougars, Red Wings? Well, I'd say no, being a loyal Canucks supporter, although there is a lot of old sentimental uh, uh, people and fans that do cheer for the Detroit teams. Across a small bridge in Cordova Bay is a quiet home where Bernie Rogers remembers too. He was at that hockey game in 1925, which crowned the Victoria Cougars as the best in the country. He was 13. I was certainly there, and I scraped ice. I was a night scraper. Uh, they called us rink rats, and we scraped the ice. And Harry Bates, 93 now, a member of hockey's 1924 rink rats. He also helped clean the ice as a rink rat long before Zambonis rode the rink. He watched the Victoria Cougars win the Stanley Cup, too. In those days, it was rougher. I think the boys were a little heavier on the body checks than they are now. Because I find now they're, they're fast skating, but I don't think they're doing as heavy hitting like they did in those days. Although they're fighting just as much as ever, though. The Patrick family of Victoria is famous for hockey and has brought hockey to this coast many times. In fact, not only did they sell the franchise, the Victoria Cougars, to the Detroit Red Wings, they sold a lot of the players to the New York Rangers. So we can lay claim to that team, too. Not that that's going to do much good in this playoff season. It is said Lord Stanley's Cup resided in the basement of the Patricks' home for a while, and when dug out for the championship game, they scratched their initials in the cup, and those initials may still be there. So who to cheer for? Vancouver Canucks or Victoria come Detroit Cougars become Red Wings? Now they became the, the uh, Detroit Red Wings, so maybe we should be cheering for Detroit. I don't think so. No, a little old Victoria needs a little cheering, I think. So, um, so you're going for the Canucks? Oh, absolutely. Charles Hughes of the Detroit Athletic Club bought the Victoria Cougars for $100,000 in 1926. They had a shaky first season, finishing last, losing $84,000 at the gate. They may not lose money so much today, but everyone, including Bernie and Harry and John, too, want them to lose the series, and the sooner the better.